Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. I am so excited today. I've partnered with Petal Driven and they have hooked it up for me to make two beautiful fall floral items. The first is going to be this beautiful arrangement you see here behind me. And what's so awesome is that this is for an actual wedding today. Um, some dear friends of ours are getting married. Our bride wanted it to be a little bit boho, a little bit fall, and so with some pops of orange here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful arrangement. We're going to be putting this together. So everything you'll notice here is from our favorite here at our house, Petal Driven. I'm going to link all the flowers and items below if you want to build this yourself. So without further ado, let's build these beautiful centerpieces together. All right, so we are gonna get started today. This is a footed bowl. Also, I'm filming outside, so if you notice some like construction noise, apologize for that. It is probably, this is my larger one. It's probably about eight inches in diameter. These have been workhorses for us because I have used these for so many things. So if you're wanting to invest in some good pieces, get something that's neutral, that's basic, that will be versatile. That's why I've used this so often, and this is gonna be a centerpiece for an actual wedding. So I'm gonna be making two larger centerpieces that are gonna go at the ends of the aisle for the bride. I'm gonna start with a wet block of Oasis, and I just, I'm gonna sit down into the centerpiece like so. It's nice and secure in there, and this has been soaking in water for probably about 20 minutes, so it is ready to go, and we're gonna build our centerpiece. And the wedding is tomorrow, and so I'm doing this about 24 hours a little bit over a day before the actual wedding, but this will stay in a nice cool place and it will be perfect for tomorrow. So I'm doing this a day in advance and I will do the bouquet a day in advance as well. So let's start building our base. Of course, we always start with our greenery. We have a ton of really beautiful greenery. We want it very thick and full and lots of foliage because it's October and it's a fall wedding. So let's start building our greenery base. going to be one main focal point but I do know that it needs to look good from all sides but the front of this is what's going to primarily be seen from the ceremony as the bride walks down. I love all this lush color. I love the acacia that it has this little bit of reddish purple because I feel like it makes it look super fall. We just have a ton of really silvery sage gorgeous textures here um, but now it's time to add the flowers. I want a subtle touch of orange but we also have a lot of fun succulents. Um, a lot of protea, queen protea, blushing bride protea. We also have a pin cushion. The bride just wanted it kind of more of an organic fall look. But we're also pairing it with a couple roses, so that softens it up. But we're gonna start building. Let's do it.
guys enjoy the video. So I am really excited to put these in the car and drive them up to the venue today. I'll try to get some photos on site and hopefully I'll be able to add them into the video so you can see what it looks like live in the flesh, not just on my dining room table, but at an actual wedding. I think it's gonna be beautiful. And I love her pops of orange. I think it's just perfect for fall. Anyways, congratulations, Jess and Emo, and thank you, Petal Driven, for all the beautiful flowers. We'll see you guys next time and be sure to catch part two of this series. I'm making a coordinating bouquet if you're interested in watching that as well. All right, bye guys.